I found it. A way to see how it feels to vibe code something into existence and not know how to read the final output. I, I'm a developer educator, and this type of conundrum is new to us. It's hard to teach something if you've never experienced it yourself. So I figured out how to get that empathy. All you need to do is just build something that you don't know how to build. And for me, that's a video game with the physics engine. And I did that. It's not great, but I'm going to show it to you. Uh, on AI Avenue, we asked people what their biggest dream was ever. How are you going to use AI in the future? And can you guess what they said? Almost 100% of the people answered with, I want AI to do the dishes. <laughs> So what we did was we made an episode that dives into doing things like the dishes. Now, spoiler alert, but we learned that doing the dishes is more challenging than it seems. And there are better uses for our robo friends. So that get me thinking. The challengingness of a robot doing the dishes. So here it is. The game I built is called Disaster. <laughs> and it's built on that old game Co-op. It's kind of like, like that. So, so you, you can kind of control limbs, right? So you control limbs with QW. Here, let me show you Co-op. So, so co-op, you come in here and you can do this like QWOP and it's really hard because, you know, running is actually hard if you, oh, I have to think about it. So uh, I did the same thing with the, the robot. Check it out. I'm going to try to get him to get this, this little thing over here. So you can see the controls are down here. This is available at dishaster.aiavenue.show if you want to give this a try. See if you're better at it than I am. I've been playing it for a while. I think it's actually pretty fun. I'm trying to get my hand over. I got it. I got it. Okay. So the robot's got it. He's going to bring it over over here and I'm going to try to get that sponge with my other hand and it's fun right it's it's just super fun to 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 play with and I don't know how to do any of this at all really right uh oh cool I got I got the sponge I'll move the arm over here this is kind of addicting too let me know if you get better than me okay cool I got I got it I got it I'm gonna scrub it oh man I dropped I dropped it I'm gonna drop the plate I dropped the plate down the hole there man but look at that I didn't write any code at all, like no code. I, I, I challenged myself. Codex, OpenAI Codex, it did it all. And I just used English. And after all, as Carpathy said, the hottest new programming language is English, right? And I did, I did of course, use a, a Cloudflare template, the Hello World template. If you do NPM create Cloudflare at latest, you'll spin up a new repo that's all ready to go. It has a nice little web server here that then you can also deploy to uh, whatever you want. Um, so I'm just going to say Explorer Games. Uh, and I used the Hello World example, and then I chose just the default here, this uh, server-side rendering full stack app. But you can see there's lots of options here. But I'm just going to choose that one. Choose TypeScript because I know that code generates better when it's TypeScript. Uh, and I just let it roll, right? I, I did that. I let it, I let it roll. And uh, I was really surprised with how I was able to talk in ways that I don't know, right? Like... Um, and to, to show you that, I, I, I do this in most, most apps that I do. I, I keep a, a folder called Truth Window. It's kind of based on um, uh, straw built houses. They keep a little window in the house to show that inside of the house it's a, you know, how it was built. And so I did that. I did that. And if, you, if you're looking at the disaster, if you're playing and you want to take a look at the code, it's down here at the code. Now, again, I didn't write this code. This is all 100% codex. But if you click the code uh, there, you, you'll get the repo. And the repo has, uh, uh, you know, this is the game here. I'm not sure if this code's good or not, which is very, it's a strange feeling, right? I don't, I don't know if this is how you would write it. I can sort of read it because I can read code, but I, I can also imagine if I couldn't read it that this kind of feels clear. But uh, there's a thing called truth window, and then here's the creation log. And you'll see that I just said I'm trying to make a web-based game. It's uh, like that game Quop. But instead of athletes running, I want to have a robot trying to do the dishes. And it got really cute. It did, it did a lot of fun things uh, for me. And then, like, um, you're just inside of, uh, inside of here, uh, you can see that the, the, I just, you know, you, you type what you want it to do, and it kind of moves the code. So this is, this is Codex. And if you have an open AI subscription, this is part of your subscription uh, that you can do. And it's just a thing called Codex. There's, there's a link in the notes for that. And if you press uh, Control-T, you can jump in here, and you can kind of look through these different stuff. And I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, is there, is there any chance that we could use emojis? I'm not even sure if this game engine supports emojis. And it did. And, you know, I want to make sure that it breaks. And I want to make sure that there's like a little sync icon. And uh, it's getting shaky. I don't, I don't know what the right word for that is. But uh, I was just able to talk about it, right? And, and you know, um, can we move the hole from the base? Because I dropped that plate. I don't want to do that. I kept on doing that. So I think I put it back, though, because it, I need a little more danger because the plate rolls, and that's kind of fun. Um, 
and and it was thought of course you know the sponge needed to be on the drying rack to win it, and you don't you don't need to do that anyway totally built the game with it i pair programmed except it did all the work <laughs> and i don't know if it's good and uh, I did literally nothing, right? I, I wrote no code. I just yapped at this thing. So this was a humbling experience to say the least. And for all of you out there vibe coding, I salute you. You're dealing with stuff that you don't know what's happening and, and you're, you're talking to it, but I want you to try that. And if you are doing that, what would help you more? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you wanna see why robots struggle to do dishes, check out our AI Avenue episode. And hey, there's also lots of other great tutorials on there. It is such a bonkers time to be a builder. I want you to build whatever it is that you're dreaming. And thanks so much for hanging out, and we'll see you real soon.